The rail network is one of the most advanced and well-organised forms of transportation because it has fixed routes and schedules, so its services are more uniform compared to other modes of transport. Today, we will see the difference between new rail transport technologies, bullet trains and hyperloop trains. Before we get started, please follow and subscribe to us. The Hyperloop train is the tunnel or tube-based transportation system that propels passengers and cargo at incredible high speeds. These tubes could be built either above or below ground and in an almost straight line. The tubes contain vacuum pumps and an engine that uses electric magnetic propulsion and magnetic levitation. The two-tube structure could carry around 15 million people per year, with a charge of around $20 per ride. Bullet trains are the railway systems that run at speeds of 150 miles per hour or more, and they charge $20 to $30 one way. You may be amazed to know that Japan started operating its famous Shinkansen bullet trains between Tokyo and Osaka in 1964. Countries like China, Japan, Germany, France, Spain and many others have already built bullet train tracks. You may be amazed to know that China has more than 27,000 kilometres of high-speed rail tracks. Most of the bullet trains run on conventional track but that contain stronger materials. They are powered by overhead supply lines or roof-mounted pantographs. Several companies are developing the Hyperloop systems, including Elon Musk's Hyperloop transportation technologies, Richard Branson's Virgin Hyperloop One and Arivo. According to Elon Musk, the Hyperloop is able to transport people as fast as 750 miles per hour, while China unveiled a maglev bullet train prototype that is capable of running at 372 miles per hour last year. The maglev bullet train was due to enter commercial production by 2021. It requires extensive testing. In terms of cost, the proposed San Francisco to Los Angeles Hyperloop would cost between 6 and 7.5 billion US dollars to build, but it would reduce the travel time between the two cities from over 10 hours to just 30 minutes. Compared to this, the California high-speed rail was estimated to cost $68 billion. There are some big differences between the two trains. The Hyperloop is two to three times faster than a bullet train and it would also be relatively cheaper. But the Hyperloop train is only able to carry 3,360 passengers per hour, while the high-speed rail is estimated to carry 12,000 passengers per hour. The Hyperloop train has another major drawback, that it has no stops between the starting point and destination, while the bullet train contains multiple stops and they follow a timing schedule. The Texas bullet train has a total distance of 240 miles with a speed of 200 miles per hour and it connects Dallas to Houston in around 90 minutes. The bullet train system has a build cost of 15 billion US dollars and it will start in 2023. Virgin Hyperloop One train covers the distance of 640 miles with a maximum speed of 700 miles per hour and it'll connect Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, San Antonio and Austin. They aim to complete the Dallas to Houston section in just 46 minutes. This will start in 2021. That's all for today. I hope you like this information. For more interesting videos, follow and subscribe now and make sure to share it. Stay connected, be updated.